Will this election impact the national debt? Elijah K. Johnson here with Miles Franklin. There are many issues at stake in this presidential election, and I will be voting. That being said, when it comes to the national debt, it seems to matter little whether Republicans or Democrats are in the White House. The national debt has increased under every president in the last 90 years. The last three presidents, Trump, Obama, and Bush, have each added more to the debt than any other presidents in U.S. history. The national debt in the next four years is projected to expand from $27 trillion to $48 trillion. Therefore, regardless of the election outcome, it appears we're headed for a debt crisis. How will this affect you? Here is a likely scenario that may happen in the future. The national debt continues to rise. It becomes increasingly obvious to the world. America can't pay it off. Demand for U.S. Treasuries decreases. The Fed steps in to keep interest rates low. They simply create more money to pay for the debt. People lose faith in the U.S. dollar, and inflation rises to rates we haven't seen since the 1980s. People see their life savings shrink in value. And with prices of everything higher, it becomes harder for the average American to get by. This future is not yet written, and I hope this scenario does not play out. But since casting a ballot does not seem like it's going to prevent a debt crisis, many people are also voting with their wallet, saying they want out of the system. They're buying gold, an asset that has survived through periods of high inflation and has had value through all of human history.